The royalty family is one of YouTube's newest and most popular family-based vlogging channels. It's run by mom, Andrea Espada, dad, Ali Saleh, and their son, Ferran Espada. Oh, and I guess we shouldn't forget about the newest addition to their family, their baby boy, Prince Milan, as well as their fur babies, Princess and Bucci. Considering the family's mega YouTube success, they really are living like royalty these days. They recently scooped up their dream home in the Hollywood Hills, and today, we're gonna take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Andrea first began using social media in October of 2016. That's when she created her official Instagram account. After blowing up there in a big way, she and her family created a YouTube channel in April of 2017, which currently has more than 500 uploads with over 3 billion lifetime views. Andrea was originally born and raised in Colombia before she moved to the United States to pursue a career in the entertainment industry. Once in North America, Andrea worked as a model for more than a decade under the names Selena Spice as well as her real name, Andrea Rincon. After appearing in TV commercials and Playboy pictorial spreads, she began working as a host for UFC before committing to the idea of becoming a full-time vlogger. Her son Ferran is from her first marriage with her former husband, Colombian photographer Pierre Lapine. After he and Andrea divorced a few years ago, Andrea changed her name to Andrea Spada. Soon after that, she met Ali Saleh, who was born and raised in Lebanon, before immigrating to the US when he was only three years old. The two immediately hit it off and created the modern day version of the nuclear family. As immigrants from Colombia and Lebanon, these two felt they had a unique perspective to share with the world. The end result being their widely successful YouTube channel. Social Blade estimates this channel earns them anywhere between 400k to 6 million dollars a year. Thanks to that kind of cash production, the royalty family was recently able to purchase their dream house in the Hollywood Hills. Way back when, some might have laughed at Andrea when she used to tell people that she would achieve something spectacular in Hollywood. But now, with the help of her family, she is living the kind of life most of us can only dream about. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're checking out the luxury estate that the royalty family calls home here for you on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. In 2020, after a year of monumental success on YouTube, the royalty family put pen to paper and purchased their newest home in the Los Angeles neighborhood known as Hollywood Hills. Over the next few months, they'd furnish the home and put together their royalty palace piece by piece, getting it ready to share with their millions of followers. Now, when you first approach the family palace, don't be expecting a moat or anything, although there is a gigantic koi pond, which is still pretty impressive. The next thing you'll probably notice about the house is how a large part of the front facade is made out of glass. I mean, not only is the front door largely transparent, but so are most of the walls. Moving inside, one of the first spaces you'll find is located in the middle of the ground floor. I'm talking about the royalty family dining room. This area is furnished with what looks to be a gorgeous marble table, complete with some eye-popping white chairs and an elongated bench. Oh, and with a very indiscreet but entirely cool family branding located on the far wall, I really don't think anyone will forget just whose home it is that they're visiting. A few short steps from the dining room is what the family likes to call the lounge area, you know, where the adults hang out. It's attached to the formal living room that has an entire wall of floor to ceiling windows, hardwood floors, and a built-in fireplace along the back wall. Besides the upholstered furniture, the room also features a cool wine rack that's been set into a freestanding wall at the far end of the space. This just so happens to overlook Bulldog Gucci's favorite place. Oh, and by the way, those windows I mentioned earlier, well, it turns out they're sliding doors, and not just any sliding doors, but the kind that fold into one another. Through a door just off the side of the living room is the first of seven bedrooms that the family has. Right now, it's a sparsely decorated guest bedroom that comes with its very own ensuite bathroom and a king-sized bed. 
On the opposite side of the guest room is a bedroom that Andrea has transformed into her home studio. It's a bit smaller than her last one, but it's still got all the necessary trappings to get her ready for whatever it is she's got lined up for the day, including one of the most classic makeup table setups that I've ever seen. On the opposite side of the ground floor is the family's favorite space. You already know what I'm talking about, the kitchen. Much like with that killer dining room table, a whole bunch of the surfaces in this room are carved out of marble with a little little bit of wood finishing to tie it all together. The kitchen also comes with two separate islands underneath a geometrical chandelier and some top of the line appliances that are colored black so the white of the marble really pops. Towards the back of this space is a whole second living room, which actually makes for some pretty strategic planning because now the rest of the family can keep an eye on whoever it is that's making dinner and track the progress. Alright, now that we know what the main floor is like, let's check out the upstairs. Up here on the second level are four bedrooms in the laundry room. I'm pretty sure that you can picture what the ladder looks like, so I'm gonna move directly into King Ferran's bedroom. Like the graffiti on the wall here implies, this bedroom is fit for a king. Ferran not only has a killer video game setup to assist with his own personal YouTube gaming channel, he's also got a closet full of on-brand clothes that most adults would probably be willing to die for. Just down the hall from Ferran's room is the nursery of his baby bro, Prince Milan. This room has everything you'd no doubt expect for a baby's nursery. Andrea decorated it herself and she selected a monochrome color tone to stay away from the cliche blue look that a baby boy usually gets. But here's where I've got to question the royalty family's planning just a little bit, because located right next to the baby's room is the royalty family cinema. Yes, that's exactly what it sounds like. Now don't get me wrong, I'd love a home theater in my house, even if it came with the questionable choice of red leather chairs like the one seen here. But honestly, how are those surround sounds from this room not going to wake the baby up right next door? Of course, soundproof walls. They clearly thought of everything. All right, the final room we're gonna look at in the main house is the master bedroom. This room has a little bit of everything. Comfortable bed, check. Cozy decor, check. An ensuite bathroom with a steam room, check. A walk-in closet that looks more like a boutique, check. And finally, some of the best views of the house, double check. Speaking of views, how about we finally take a look at the backyard? One of the biggest selling points of the royalty family home is the truly ridiculous amount of space they have out back. Whatever it is you're looking for out here, odds are you're gonna find it. Located immediately outside of the living room is a covered entertainment space that comes preloaded with its own barbecue pit and what's basically a third living room. Only you know this one is located outside. Next to that is a family sized ping pong table and that's probably the least interesting thing out here because just a few feet away from there is the royalty family basketball courts. On the opposite side of the yard is a row of cabanas that have been parked right next to the family's unbelievable pool and spa combo that looks like it's straight out of the nearest five star resort. And just in case you can't get enough of a workout in the pool or on the basketball court, there's a family gym just a short walk up the exterior stairs. With the elevated views that come built in, it's gonna make working out up here a real pleasure when they're finally done with it. Finally, the royalty family has created their very own game zone in what otherwise might be considered the guest house. Well, whether you feel like playing foosball, arcade basketball, or even Street Fighter 2, then this is the room for you. Just make sure you don't wake up their videographer, Will, when he's getting the rare opportunity to catch up on some Z's back here. All right, guys, that's gonna bring this look at the brand new home of the royalty family to a close. I know we saw a lot of rooms in their Hollywood Hills dream mansion, but if you had to choose a space in the house, which would it be? It's a hard choice, but that entertainer's backyard and swimming pool is hard to beat. Be sure to let me know what you think about their palace in the comments down below and leave some names of other celebrities you'd like to see profiled on this series. Feel free to follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!